guys thank you for joining me today so i am super excited because as you probably saw from the title i am adopting another hamster today i've been thinking about getting a second hamster for a while now so i'm really happy that i can offer this little guy a home i need to set up his cage so at the moment he'll be housed in the savic hamster heaven however my plan is to upgrade him to the ikea linman once i can get all the supplies and build it but before I start setting up, I need to run out and grab a few supplies. So let's go. So now that I've got the final few bits I needed, I'm going to start setting up his cage. So this is the Savic Hamster Heaven, which measures 80 by 50 centimetres, meeting minimum requirements in the UK. It does taper in slightly at the bottom, so I'm going to make sure to fill it all the way to the top with bedding, just to make sure it is actually meeting those measurements. The only place where it's not going to be completely up to the top is where his wheel is going to sit, and that's just so that I can fit it in there. Because of how this cage tapers, if you are looking for a suitable setup for your hamster currently, I would say there are definitely better ones out there than the Savic Hamster Heaven with a cheaper price tag as well, such as the Barney Alaska or Savic Plaza cages. However, as I mentioned at the start, this will not be his permanent home and I will be upgrading him to the Ikea Limon once I have all of the supplies. Now that I've finished adding in his tea bag bedding, I'm going to go ahead and add in his sand bath, his 28cm Trixie wheel, some bendable bridges, one as a hideout and one as a bridge to his sand bath. I also like to include some dried flowers, so I'm going to be adding in some of the floral feast from Pets at Home and I'm also going to add some blue corn flowers and rose petals for foraging. For his sand bath, I'm just using the 5kg Pets at Home Desert Sand. This is safe for hamsters and doesn't contain any added calcium. Unfortunately, I didn't have any of his previous bedding to add in with him, but I do have a couple of his old toys, so I've made sure to include them so that he still has items that smell familiar. Lastly, I've placed a DIY platform with his food and water dish, and I've also given him a water bottle attached to the side of his cage.
Hey guys, so it's been about a week now and he's settled in really well after being left alone for a few days. His name with his previous family was Rolo, but I've decided to change it to Albus after Dumbledore from Harry Potter. He is of course a male Syrian hamster and from what I was told he's around three and a half months old. I'm happy to say that his story isn't a sad one and he was very much loved by his previous family. He is still a little bit nervous but he's been doing so well and he's very curious so I can't wait to see him grow and come out of his shell. So I'm going to end this video here for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please like, comment and subscribe down below for more hamster content. And me, Albus and UA will see you all next time.